Sanctus. So today we're going to take a look at Sank the Child OBE Alone Sank All Alone. This is number three. There are four other fig other articulated figures in this series, but this is number three, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, it's number three. This is the video game version, the more colorful version. The other three are more, how do you say, darker tone. So I chanced upon this in a pre-order. And I've seen Sank around a lot back in the day. I mean, I think two years ago, I've seen them pop out once in a while. But nowadays, they're like everywhere in the designer figure world, artist figure world. The, there's like a lot of Sank the Child type statues, blind boxes, a whole lot of Sank the Child stuff is out there now. So I think this guy's easily accessible. Uh, the reason I got this one was because it's an articulated figure and it's a very colorful articulated figure, which was kind of interesting to me. So I chanced upon this on a pre-order. I just wanted to see how Sank the Child or the Sank uh, category or genre fares and whether or not if I want to collect it in the future. So this is my, not the first, I think the first one was the mermaid in a can, but that was more like a, how do you say, partnership. I think this is a legit OG Sank the Child license figure. So with that being said, let's take a look at this guy. And here he is, the video game version of the articulated figure of Sank the Child. Now, please note, he does not come with a display stand. I just put him on it because this little stool I do my review on is really wobbly. And he does have some balancing issues because of that gigantic head. It's pretty heavy. But overall, yeah, this is him. So with that being said, let's take a closer look at this very weird looking figure. And here's a closer look at the articulate figure of Sank the Child. And you could see he's very stupidly colorful. And there are three other versions. Um, the first two are these guys. They're very dark tone. Uh, yeah, so I missed out on that. But well, truthfully, there were no pre-orders open for these guys in my country, so I kind of missed on that. And the other one that came with this series is this guy. He's more black and white, but he looks kind of boring because, yeah, he's basically black and white. He's not really interesting to look at, really. So I opted for this guy because, yeah, look at him. He's very, he has a presence. Yeah, that's him. So he does come with a buttload of accessories. So let's take a look at those. TV. Dinosaur. Little Game Boy. Backpack. Spray can. Another spray can. Water gun. Baseball bat. Wing. Antenna. Hand, 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 hand. So this is the stuff the figure comes with quite a bit. So let's take a look at the first honking piece, this TV. This is a, I don't know, a portable TV. But as you can see, well, if you can see, I think the exposure, there we go. So as you can see, it's very shiny. It doesn't light up, unfortunately, but it is pretty heavy. So I thought it had like a battery compartment or something that it could light up, but no. It's just a very heavy piece of plastic. So you can see there's the audio input, I guess. And then that's the TV. Now it does come with an antenna that's separate. Let's see if I can do this on camera. So you basically, I hope, I've never done this before, stupidly. But yeah, so you could basically move this guy around. And that's the TV he comes with. It's very loose. That's weird. Why is it so loose? So that's the TV he comes with. Now I don't really know the full story for this figure, so if you guys know any lore or any descriptions for him, please let me know. Next up we have his backpack. It's all nylon. Well, I don't know what it is. Fabric, I guess. There's no pleather bits, thank god. Ooh, what's going on? Ooh, camera's freaking out. Let's do this. There we go. So it's, uh, it's, it's made very well. 
uh, 3A quality, truthfully. Cut the buckles at work, and you could store whatever you want in his bag. Doo -doo -doo. Next up, I guess we have his little plush doll of a dinosaur thingamabob. His companion or something. A plush toy. The camera's getting it, because... It looks kind of blurry on the screen, but yeah, that's the plush toy he comes with. It does come with spray cans as well, so I'll just show one because the other one's kind of the same. It's a sink. I'm guessing these are spray cans. Again, I don't really know the lore or the story behind this guy. And we have this little Splatoon looking gun, water gun, I guess, ray gun. Now did this did come broken. This part was a little loose on my figure, so I just had to glue it back. But yeah, this is the I don't know what this is, a water gun, a ray gun. If you guys know the lore again let me know. That's his little gunny guns. Then he has a little Game Boy thing. And then he has a baseball bat, which is not um, die cast. I thought it was die cast when I first saw it, but no, it's just very nicely painted to look like die cast. Now it does have 1989 on it, and he also has 1989 on his jacket, so I don't really know what this significance of this date. Was it the, no, I don't know. I don't know what the significance of this date. So he does have sank. I don't know what that says. FS or yeah I'm really I did do do some research on this guy I did do some research but there was really nothing I could really look at and next up we have his wings now Sank is known for the you saw before the diving suit helmet and they're also known for wings coming out of their helmet so this will go on his head which I will show in a bit but that's his wing bit it plugs in pretty easily and then finally we have his hands oh. I'll just leave that so we have his um, trigger hands for the gun so you have sank on the gloves Doop. And then we have his, I guess these are the spray paint. No, I don't think so, they're kind of small. It could be for the Game Boy or the baseball bat. Not a lot of weathering with this guy. He's really super clean. I mean, nothing's weathered on him, as you can see. But I think the first version of these articulated figures did have some weathering. And I think these are the spray can hands. Let's try. Does it hold the spray can? As you can see, I've never done this before. Oh, it does, okay. So this holds the spray can, but it's very loose. Oh dear, that's very loose. <laughs> so yeah, with that being said, let's stick all this junk onto this little guy. So here he is, all fully loaded with all his accessories on him. Well, at least most of it. I tried to load up as much as I can. And yeah, this is the reason why I got him. He's very colorful, very, very interesting to look at. He's just one of those weird figures you find. Now, Sank does a lot of statuesque um, pieces, which is okay for me. I think I bought one also. I pre-ordered one, this guy. Um, <laughs> out of impulse. <laughs> But he does look cool, truthfully. So that's another Sank um, piece I'm going to get in a couple of months. But this guy I like because you can articulate him. You could um, basically, um, how do you say, suit him up with different accessories. Instead of just a boring little statue, you get like a little figure as well. And he does come with one other thing. He does come with this uh, card little guy Doo -doo -doo. and yeah so he does have all the details on him 
Mine is five four six out of four nine eight, so not a g <laughs> that's not a great number to have, but whatever. Hope you can see that. It's not reflecting too much. So yeah, you get this little art authenticity card, I guess. So yeah, with that being said, let's take a closer look at him and dump him on my shelf. And here's a closer look at the video game version of this articulated series of Sank the Child. So you can see here, all the detail, shirt, jacket, stickers. He's not really weathered, like I said before, he's very clean. See his little shoes there, his little kicks. They got his TV here, which unfortunately does not light up. It's just a very heavy piece of accessory. And you got his little companion here, dinosaur thing. So I stuck his little spray can in his bag. There is foam that is placed inside there. You just have to remove it and just stick it in. So you got his backpack there. So you got his backpack and his <laughs> baseball bat I just shoved in there. The back of his head. Yeah, just a fun little guy really. So, with that being said, let's stick this guy on the shelf. If I have space, which I'm pretty sure I don't. Shit. And this is where I'll stick the little guy here. I think his color matches better in this area of my collection. Plus he's a pretty small guy, he fits anywhere. And yeah, that's my little humble review over this dumb little guy. If anybody knows the concept design story for this particular series from Sank the Child, let me know. And let me know if they're releasing any more of these guys, because they're kind of fun. No regretty. I wish if I had something to nitpick really is two things uh, maybe whether the helmet part of these figures well you know because it's a bit too clean for me I think weathering will launch this guy in a whole different spectrum and this 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 TV thing you know it's a big piece of accessory but it doesn't light up it doesn't do anything and his antenna is way way too loose I mean that can that, 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 that thing will fall off if you're not careful it's not really pegged in there securely so yeah with that being said thanks for watching hopefully this was helpful if anybody's looking for this type of figure I guess and as always go get him